Who am I? This is Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality, coming to you out of the beautiful book, Acts of Faith, by the lovely Iyala Von Zant. April 10th, until you free yourself from the final monster in the jungle of your life, your soul is up for grabs. That's Rona Barrett's quote. Many of us do not realize we have a problem because the way we live is a reflection of what we have lived with. There are men who don't know they are abusive. There are women who don't know they are being abused. There are people who don't know how to take care of themselves. There are people who believe just getting by is fine. There are children who think it is okay that they are not nurtured. There are people who do not know how to ask for what they need. There are people who fall down and never try to get up. There are people who get up by stepping on people who fell down. Each one of us believes we are fine just the way we are. So we make no effort to get better. If the world and how it works is a reflection of the people who live in it, what will it take for us to realize we have a lot of work to do? today. I would take a long, hard look at me. As Michael Jackson said, if I could look at the man in the mirror, it's the man in the mirror, right? (laughs) The woman in the mirror, the child in the mirror. So many times we talk to people, especially about the failure of a relationship. And the first thing they do is point their finger at the other person. What happened with your marriage? What happened in that relationship? He did it. He was so this and he was so that and she was just crazy. Did you make her crazy men? Ladies, did you berate him? Did you not respect him? Oh, what a wonderful world this would be if sometimes we could look And perhaps what we brought to the relationship. Nobody is perfect, even the perfect people. And sometimes we're not so nice. Sometimes we're not so kind. Sometimes we bring out the worst in each other. Have you been in a relationship like that? I have. Toxic. The person was not good for me. And the more I was around him, the crazier I got. But it wasn't all the way him. It was that I was in a very unhealthy, toxic place until I realized, Tammy, it's on you, girl. That's when I got away from that particular person, and that's when I began to heal. How can I love a man if I don't love myself? How can I be in a healthy relationship if I can't stand to be in silence, if I can't stand to be alone? for a couple hours, for a day, two, three. We are so codependent on other people. It's scary. And I think sometimes people don't even realize how codependent they are. As for me, I'm going to tell you how I feel about relationships. I'm not big on gifts. Material things, they don't mean a lot to me. Of course, I like nice things. Of course, I have nice things, but it it just doesn't matter. And I'll tell you what made me come up with this reality is when I lost my dad, when I lost my mom. My mom had the best perfume. She loved makeup. She was a classy lady, nice clothes, best, pretty jewelry. But once she passed, I saw All of that stuff stay here on earth. Same with my dear friend. I had a beautiful friend that passed away of cancer at 40. And another one who passed away in her early 50s. Angie and Dorcas. Two spectacular women. Not only pretty on the outside, but givers. Gave back to people. But when both of those beautiful ladies left this earth, All of their earthly possessions stay here. And I'm going to tell you right now, both of those ladies were some snazzy dressers. Snazzy, both of them. Material things are cool. You know, nice to have a nice purse, car, live in a big home. But 
Does that keep you warm at night? The millions and millions of dollars some people have, but they still take their own life or money does not provide happiness. Happiness is an inside job. And as the book states, so many of us, we don't even know how to ask for help. We don't even know that we need help. We don't know that we're abusive. We don't know that we're being abused. If you want to make the world a better place, if you just take a look in that mirror and start with yourself, one by one, if we could do this, oh, what a wonderful world this would be. Maybe start with yourself. Start building up yourself. Get in that gym, exercise, you know, um, Work on your mind with some meditation like I just did. Do some journaling about your dreams, things you want to come true. Stop pointing a finger at somebody else and take responsibility and say, you know what, I probably wasn't the best in that relationship. Let me do some work on myself. I'm going to end here. Tammy Sharice Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality. Please hit that like button. Thank you for your comments. Subscribe, subscribe. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye.